Super empaths are one of the most amazing people on earth because they are kind, compassionate, generous, and wise. Many people admire them for their excellent characteristics. However, other people like narcissists hate super empaths because they feel envious of them. These two types of people are the exact opposites of each other. Here are nine proofs that narcissists are envious of super empaths. Number one, narcissists try to imitate super empaths. When we idolize someone, we tend to copy their hairstyles, attires, actions, etc. Most people usually do this so they can resemble their idols. Other people even reach a point where they become so desperate to imitate one. Sometimes it is no longer a feeling of admiration, but of envy. When envy consumes other people, imitating someone is not just enough. They have the urge to become better than them. Narcissists have no originality. They try to put on their fancy masks for them to become like super empaths. Narcissists try hard to mimic super empaths actions because they have observed that many people like them for what they do. Narcissists want to gain other people's admiration, favor, and trust because it makes them feel special, wanted, loved, and appreciated. One of the narcissist's notorious skills is pretending to be who they are not. No matter how hard they try to imitate super empaths, narcissists will never be like them. They lack the number one trait that super empaths possess, being genuine. Number two, narcissists ruin super empaths image. Narcissists are envious of super empaths and one proof of this is they try to damage their reputation. A smearing campaign is an act of spreading negative and false information about someone to cause dishonor to their image. It is one of the narcissist's tactics in putting down super empaths and getting other people's sympathy and trust. A smearing campaign is like black propaganda, a tactic of disseminating false information to dismiss an adversary's standing in society. Most politicians do this during elections to demonize, humiliate, or portray the opposing candidates in a negative light to win the majority vote of citizens. Narcissists are like corrupted politicians who deploy negative propaganda to cripple super empaths. Narcissists carry out this scheme because they feel envious of them in everything they do. To defend or boost their inflated egos, narcissists backstab super empaths. That way, other people will think negatively against super empaths. When that happens, narcissists will feel euphoric because they can finally stand a chance to win over super empaths. Number three, narcissists cannot be happy with super empath success. When you support someone in their studies or careers, you'll feel happy when they finally become successful. However, narcissists are not like this. They will never acknowledge or celebrate super empath success. Congratulating super empaths may be the last thing narcissists would do in their lifetime. They cannot accept that super empaths are excellent achievers. Narcissists always want to prove that they are better and superior to other people, especially super empaths. They treat super empaths as their competitors and rivals. Narcissists are only happy with their awards and recognitions, but cannot acknowledge other people for their excellence. Number four. Narcissists do their best to exceed super empaths in everything. As I have mentioned earlier, narcissists are competitive individuals. They want to become better than super empaths. Other narcissists desire to become the best, not better than anybody. They do not want to be comparable with other people, especially super empaths. Narcissists may seem highly confident individuals, but the truth is, they are using their high self-esteem to cover up their suppressed feelings of insecurities. They need to degrade other people so they can exalt themselves. When envy completely consumes narcissists, they no longer want to imitate super empaths. Instead, they want to exceed them in everything they do. Number five, narcissists try to challenge super empaths into a debate. Narcissists will never allow super empaths to win over them. They do not want to become losers in the eyes of the public. Narcissists have inflated egos that need boosting daily. To do that, narcissists always try to find a way to beat super empaths. 
They want to provoke their favorite targets by challenging them to get into a debate against them. However, super empaths will not indulge in such a toxic exchange of words. They will never waste their time on narcissists' nonsense and trash talks. Instead of fighting or talking back against narcissists, super empaths would choose to display their poker faces in front of those egomaniacs. Number 6. Narcissists try to get close to super empaths. Sun Tzu, a Chinese general and military strategist, once said, Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. It is because in a battle, you want your friends to be by your side. But knowing your adversary's tactics will enable you to counter their next move. Knowing your adversary's strategies will allow you to launch a preemptive strike, or at the very least, prepare counter strategies to counteract their next moves on the battlefield. Narcissists consider super empaths their greatest nemesis, because they are envious of them. As a result, they try to get close to super empaths to spy on their movements and strategies in daily life. Narcissists pretend to be friends with super empaths to have easy access to their personal and sensitive information. When super empaths become comfortable with someone, they will be open about anything. During this time, narcissists should be vigilant on super empaths because they will be showing their vulnerabilities to them. When narcissists finish their mission on spying on super empaths, they will use their data to ruin super empaths. Number 7. Narcissists try to brainwash super empaths. One of the proofs that narcissists are envious of super empaths is that they try to manipulate their minds. Narcissists will do their best to brainwash super empaths into believing their lies. They will make their targets conform to their way of thinking. Narcissists use deception and pretension to get their targets trust and sympathy. However, super empaths are good at detecting narcissists' manipulative tactics. They are known for their mind reading and body language interpreting skills. Because of that, narcissists will have little to no chance of twisting the minds of their targets. In addition, super empaths have firm principles and ideologies that serve as their guidelines on what they should say or do. Number 8. Narcissists Deploy Pseudo-Empathy on Super Empaths When super empaths open up their problems to narcissists, narcissists will deploy the pseudo-empathy technique. To do that, narcissists will compare super empath struggles with their share of dilemmas in life. For example, narcissists may say to super empaths, I understand how you feel, but my problems before were even more complex than yours. But look at me, I'm still surviving. In this scenario, narcissists try to minimize super empath's difficulties to maximize their inflated egos. Narcissists will make super empaths feel they have no right to complain or feel sad about their situation. Number 9. Narcissists deprive super empaths to reach their goals. When it comes to narcissistic romantic partners or parents, they isolate super empaths at home. They deprive them of opportunities to help them reach their life goals. Narcissistic romantic partners or parents envy super empaths because of their excellence. They do not want to be left behind by super empaths once they become successful. Our loved ones must be our number one fans. However, suppose you have narcissistic partners or family members. In that case, you should not expect any support from them because they will never help you. Since narcissists are highly competitive individuals, they will not allow super empaths to become more successful than them. My dear super empaths, it turns out that being extraordinary means having admirers and haters. Do not mind those egomaniacs who try to ruin your goals in life because they are only envious of you. Just continue whatever you're doing if you think that it will lead you to success and enable you to help or inspire many people. Are you a super empath, or do you know someone who is? Do you have a narcissistic partner, friend, colleague, neighbor, or a family member? If so, were you able to feel at some point that they were envious of you? If yes, how did you handle them? Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you watch this recommended video over here.